What does it look like? This isn't a picnic. Lighten up, Chief. Have some mustard. Look what you did! Oh, get this stuff out of here right now. Killjoy. I'm not really comfortable with this. I don't blame you. What do you got? Makeup. Oh, what for? Family portrait. My mother wants me to get made up. So, what's the big deal? I just don't like the idea of changing your looks to fit somebody else's idea of what beauty is. It's just a little makeup. I know. And it's fine for some people. But I think we all sometimes place too much importance on looks. I'll chow to that. That's what my story's about. Some people spend a whole lot of time worrying about their looks. But looks can be deceiving. And sometimes, mirrors lie. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story... The Tale of the Mystical Mirror. about it. She's cool. Are you sure about this? Yes. Miss Valenti's gonna love you. What happened to the girl who used to work here? She ran away from home. Can you believe it? Nobody knows where she went. She ran away? And that's what the police said. Hi, Vicky. Hi. Uh, um, where's Miss Valenti? How should I know? I saw that. Come on, the store doesn't open for another half an hour. There. Let's see. Lipstick. A little blush, and you'll look great. I'll look like Zero the Clown. You won't. You should have seen Vicky when she first came here. What a Bowser. Haha. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm giving my friend a little touch up. Free stuff is only for employees. Chill out. Want to pass me that blush over there? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, great. I'm sorry. This is a new dress. Here, I'll clean it up. Laurel, let me know next time you bring in one of your duh friends. I'll wear something old. Good morning, ladies. Oh, hi. Morning. I have wonderful news. The new fashions just arrived from Milan last night, and they are absolutely fabulous. Of course, I want my two beauties to see them first. Really? Mm hmm Tonight, at my place, around 7. Cool, I'll be there. I can't. I have a date. Hmm. You don't know what you're missing. Um... Miss Valenti, this is my friend, Cindy. Hello, Cindy. Hi. Are you looking for anything in particular? I heard there might be a job opening because the other girl left and... And you'd like to apply? Uh, yes. I see. Of course, the women who shop here expect my beauties to have a certain style. 
Yeah, no geeks need apply. We cater to the very finest and present ourselves accordingly. I get it. Sorry to bother you. No, dear, don't leave. You might just be a diamond in the rough. Yeah, remember Vicky? Come. I have my own special line of products. Makeup, jewelry, a few fashions, but only the most elegant items. When ladies come to my store, they know that they will be surrounded by beauty. It's an image we must always strive to maintain. How long have you owned this place? Seems forever. My grandma said she used to shop here. The store's been in my family for years. We believe that beauty is a woman's most important asset. It is something that must be held on to and nurtured. Never underestimate the value of true beauty and the power. Um, about the job, I don't know if I'm right. I hope you'll take it. Pardon? You have potential, Cindy. I've been looking for someone just like you. Like me? Mm-hmm. You could make a fine beauty with a little help. I need my watch back. You said I could have it for a week. But I need it back tonight. I'm going on a date with Ron. I mean it. OK. Girls, what do you think? Wow. Where did the guys see you? Yeah, like they'll notice. Oh, I'm sure they will. True beauty does not go unrewarded. Um, uh, Laurel, there's people waiting. You look great. You see, Cindy? People will always respond positively to true beauty. I guess. Now, this, a gift I give to all my beauties. I'm sure you'll be very happy here. Thanks. Are you okay? Uh, yes. Yes, I'm fine. Laurel, uh, be a lamb and, and show Cindy around the store. Oh, for just a second, Cindy. No. What? My watch. Vicky never gave it back to me. So get it Monday. But it was from Ron, and I wanted to wear it tonight. Well, let's go over to Vicky's house. I don't know where she lives. Isn't Vicky going over to Miss Valenti's house tonight? Come on, let's go. <laughs> This is so cool. Try it on. Oh, my friends would like die if I got this. It's yours. Are you serious? Vicky, it was made for you. <laughs> Why don't you see for yourself? Wow. It 
looks. looks. It looks any way you want it to, Vicky. You can be attractive, stunning, the most beautiful woman in the world. Think of it. Everyone admiring you, wishing they had your beauty. Drink this, and you can have that forever. Oh. 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 Why does she live way out here? I guess she likes to be alone. What? I thought I saw something. Um, it's probably just a skunk. Come on. I thought she was going to be home. Maybe we should go. No, I want my watch back. Hello? How wonderful. My two beauties have decided to visit. Come. We came to see Vicky. She has my watch. But she never showed up. I was so disappointed. Wow. Is this the shipment from Milan? Yes. Exquisite, aren't they? Try something on. I'm sure you'll see something you like. Vicky would die if she saw this. I'm sure she would. Cindy, why don't you join us? Sure, just... Could you tell me where the bathroom is? It's up the stairs and to the right. Oh, and, uh, put some lipstick on, dear. You're looking a bit pale. I want you to be one of my special beauties, Laurel. But we should ask Cindy to leave first. She's not really one of us. Cindy? You can see her tomorrow. Looking pale. Give me a break. How can you be so vain and not have a mirror in your bathroom?
something wrong? Oh, oh no. No. We should go. We just got here. It's time we leave. You go. I want to stay a while. What about your date? It's not important. I'll see you tomorrow. But you can't Carl's just... Carl's right. You can see her tomorrow. But we have to leave. Laurel, come on. I think she'd like to stay for a while. Why don't you head home? But she... We'll be fine here. I'll see to that. Good night, Cindy. And you can have that beauty forever. No! No! Oh, get out of there! What? my three Three tongues of dog that spoke as woman fair. Your beauty will live in me eternally. <coughs> Omnia Lucanus Dias. It was yours. You shall be my first beauty. Let them go! Give that to me. No. Change them back or I'll break it! What is it you want, my child? I told you. Surely that's not all. Don't you want to be beautiful? I can make you beautiful. Stay away. Look into it, Cindy. Feel its power. That's it. Look into the mirror and see. 
see what you desire. Think of it. How it can change your life. Beauty can bring you anything you want. You can be popular, successful, young. You can be young for all eternity. Isn't that wonderful? Tell me, Cindy, what is most important to you? What do you really want? What I want. Yes. Tell me. What I really want. Friend back. a witch. I guess you can't tell by looks if you're a beauty or a beast. Both the house and the beauty store disappeared. So all that was left of Mrs. Volante's beautiful illusion was dust and a pile of ugly rubble. The end. So what are you? A beauty or a beast? Neither. I'm just me. Even if I'm wearing this stuff. Are we done now? Oh, uh, yeah. Then let's eat. <laughs> All right, who wants hot dogs? I do. Great, I just got a lot of this. Great. How many do you want, Betty? Two. <laughs> 